China's newest Shijian 30A, 30B, and 30C satellites have just entered orbit, and their purpose is clear to fast track the next generation of satellite communications, data transmission technology, and autonomous system design. These spacecraft act as real time laboratories, verifying advanced subsystems directly in space. With this mission, China accelerates the transition of breakthrough technology into full operational fleets for navigation, communications, and Earth observation, quietly reshaping the future of its space capabilities. The latest Shijian 30 satellites are designed with one primary mission in mind, to speed up the development and verification of cutting-edge technologies that modern satellite fleets depend on. While these spacecraft do conduct space environment surveys, their real importance lies in how they test and mature. Technologies that improve communication links, data handling, and autonomous operations. Shijian 30A, 30B, and 30C operate as in-orbit platforms that shorten the timeline between experimental designs and full operational deployment. The key point is that China needs faster pathways to bring new capabilities into navigation systems, broadband satellites, and Earth observation constellations. Ground tests alone cannot reveal how advanced electronics behave under space radiation, particle storms, or rapidly shifting thermal conditions. The Shijian satellites provide the evidence by exposing new communication modules, processors, and autonomous software to real orbital stress. With this verification process, the satellites help China refine next-generation communication systems capable of handling higher bandwidth, more stable signals, and faster data routing. This is crucial for modern fleets that increasingly rely on high-speed data relay, whether for real-time Earth observation imaging, precise navigation services, or machine-to-machine -machine communication in space. In addition, Shijian satellites test autonomous capabilities that allow future spacecraft to manage power, adjust orientation, avoid hazards, and coordinate within constellations with minimal human intervention. By strengthening these technologies early, China ensures that newly validated components can be integrated into major satellite programs quickly. Instead of waiting years for lab simulations and incremental upgrades, verified systems from the Shijian missions can move directly into operational satellites with confidence. This shortens production cycles and reduces risk for large constellation deployments. The link to China's broader space strategy is unmistakable. The country aims to build a modern, resilient, and interconnected orbital infrastructure. The Shijian 30 mission contributes to that goal by pushing communication, data processing, and autonomous capabilities closer to operational readiness. The Shijian platform has become China's most important accelerator for space technology innovation, and the 38BC satellites reinforce that role. The point here is that Shijian missions exist to compress development timelines enabling breakthrough technologies to evolve from prototypes to fully validated systems ready for real orbital operations. With each mission, the platform acts as China's in-space engineering laboratory, where communication hardware, advanced processors, and autonomous systems are exposed to the real environment they were built to handle. Evidence for this innovation pipeline comes from the history of the Shijian series. Previous missions validated new inter-satellite communication approaches, stronger data relay links, and improved onboard computing architectures. They also tested algorithms for autonomous fault detection, system optimization, and intelligent decision-making. Capabilities essential for future smart constellations. These validated technologies later appeared across China's operational satellites, including navigation networks, communication spacecraft, and Earth imaging platforms. The explanation behind this system's effectiveness is simple. Real orbit testing eliminates uncertainty. Many technologies behave differently once exposed to microgravity, radiation, high-energy particles, and thermal extremes. Even sophisticated ground simulations cannot capture all orbital conditions. The Shijian platform allows engineers to evaluate hardware performance, software stability, communication reliability, and autonomous decision-making with unmatched accuracy. What works in orbit stays, what fails is redesigned and retested. 
This approach also supports China's long-term vision of automated, self-managing constellations. The Shijian satellites test the building blocks of this future. Smarter data processors, adaptive communication modules, and autonomous navigation software. These components will enable China's next-generation fleets to operate more efficiently, handle larger data flows, and collaborate across networks with minimal human intervention. The link to operational integration is where Shijian becomes indispensable. After completing in-orbit verification, successful technologies transition directly into major satellite families. Navigation satellites gain improved timing and communication subsystems. Earth observation platforms adopt more advanced data handling units for faster image transmission. Communication networks receive upgraded relay modules capable of higher throughput. This rapid integration strengthens China's constellation step-by-step, -step, mission by mission. Together, these capabilities make Shijian a strategic engine for China's technological momentum. It is a major push to upgrade China's orbital communication, data processing, and autonomous foundations. The launch of Shijian, 30A, 30B, and 30C also highlights a crucial part of China's strategy, using high-cadence launches to rapidly deploy and test technologies that will flow into larger operational fleets. With this mission marking China's 74th space launch of the year and the 608th flight of the Long March rocket family, the country maintains one of the most consistent launch rhythms in the world. This pace is not just about numbers. It's about accelerating innovation cycles. The point is that frequent launches give China the flexibility to test advanced communication systems, data routing hardware, and autonomous subsystems more often and with tighter iteration loops. Instead of waiting months or years between experimental missions, China can validate new technologies quickly and integrate successful results into navigation, communication, and Earth observation programs without delay. The evidence for this acceleration lies in the diversity of China's missions this year. Earth imaging constellations have seen upgrades in data transmission capacity. Communication networks have expanded with satellites equipped with new relay modules. Navigation systems have introduced stronger signal integrity and improved timing features. Many of these improvements originated in earlier Shijian series experiments, which were later scaled up and deployed across operational fleets. Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center plays a significant role in this ecosystem. As one of China's most versatile inland spaceports, it handles a wide variety of scientific and technology testing missions. Jiuquan's infrastructure and scheduling flexibility allow China to introduce experimental spacecraft, like Shijian 38B-C, into orbit quickly, ensuring the innovation pipeline never slows down. Its ability to support frequent launches directly contributes to China's capability to validate and integrate advanced technologies at a rapid pace. The explanation for why this matters is found in modern satellite demand. Navigation networks require improved timing accuracy. Broadband communication fleets need enhanced data throughput. Earth observation satellites must transmit higher resolution imagery in real time. All of these improvements depend on new technology being tested and adopted quickly. The Shijian mission ensures that China can deliver these upgrades faster than traditional development cycles would allow. The Shijian 30A, 30B, and 30C mission represents far more than an environmental study. These satellites sit at the center of China's strategy to accelerate communications innovation, strengthen data transmission performance, and advance autonomous satellite design. By verifying technologies directly in orbit, China shortens development cycles and speeds their integration into major fleets supporting navigation, communications, and Earth observation. Combined with the country's high launch tempo, this mission reinforces a fast-moving upgrade pipeline that will shape China's orbital capabilities for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.